who just have a function that has no zeros, or rarely a function that has one zero. So, what happens in those two cases, where it has no zeros or it has one zero? is solve a0 plus a1r plus a2r squared is equal to zero. What kind of equation is this? Yes, it's a quadratic. And does this equation always have a solution for r? Okay, I see lots of you shaking your head. And most of the time, when you're talking about regular algebra, that's true. Sometimes, when graphing these, you'll just have a function that has no zeros, or rarely a function that has one zero. So, what happens in those two cases, where it has no zeros, or it has one zero? Or it has less zeros than whatever the order is? Well, that's a very good question. Because to get the answer, all we have to do is dive into complex numbers. So, a2 is equal to 1. R is, uh, a1 is equal to, uh, let's go with 2. And a0 is going to be equal to uh, 5. Sure, that's good. So, that means that we get the solutions to be minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 20 all divided by 2. So this is minus 2 plus minus the square root of negative 16 over 2. And we will probably say, what the heck is the square root of negative 16? Well, that's just going to be 4i. So we get minus 1 plus minus 2i. And those of you who are saying imaginary numbers are probably like, okay, sir, this has a solution, definitely. But how do we plug that solution into our natural format? How can we plug a complex number into this? Well, all we have to do is use Euler's formula. E to the E to the I theta is equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta. So that's essentially how we roll with equations that have zero solutions. Now, what about equations that have less solutions than normal, like one solution? One example is plus 2r plus 1. How do we solve this? This is obviously, what perfect square is this? Okay, good. So, how, how do we accommodate this? Well, what we say here is that the solution of r equals minus 1 with the multiplicity of 2. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that not only is e to the minus x a solution, but it also means that x e to the minus x is a solution. So that is how homogeneous solutions. So, 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 so.